What makes you qualified to be a professional plant roller? I've been smoking since I was nine. I've been head of the blunt rolling situation. Would you be willing to submit a urine sample just to prove that you are actually high? Before we start this video, I just want to say happy 420 and to celebrate, I partnered with Purple Rose Supply to do a giveaway on all four sizes of the Canagar right here. So literally all you have to do is like this video, comment on this video, take a screenshot and send it to me on Instagram and we're going to pick the winner through my Instagram DMs. So you guys know I've been rocking with them for a while and these things are amazing when you want the blunt to burn for a long time. This thing right here is guaranteed to make your blunts burn super long, smoke super smooth. If you haven't seen this product yet, basically all you do is you slip the bamboo skewer right here. That way it promotes airflow and you just take all your gas, specifically IO-13, and you wanna just pack it down in here nice and tight. And sometimes you can give it an hour to let it kind of sit and mold up really good. And when you take this out, it's gonna be beautifully molded and you can roll it in anything you want. So you don't have to be a professional blunt roller like the people in this video to use these. It's actually super easy to roll. So make sure you guys like this video, comment it, send me the screenshot so you can possibly win all four sizes of the Canagar. And again, happy 420. I hope you guys enjoy this 420 special. All right, here we go. We have to do this interview process first for Mr. Ten Rear. Tell me a little bit about yourself, Christopher. What makes you think you're qualified to be a blood roller? I've been rolling bloods all my life. I've been smoking weed since I was 10. Since you were 10? Yeah, I used to get into my mom's stash. Found out that when she smoked weed, it always was a benefit to me because she was in a good mood. And I make sure that I told her that I didn't like it so she wouldn't hide it from me. Eventually, uh, grandma, you know, knew that I smoked weed and I told her that, like, you know, I can get into mom's stash. And she's like, okay, come on, can you smoke with me? I'm like, sure. So I got, you know, the weed and started rolling up for grandma. And then it was just a whole family thing. So ever since then, I've been rolling blunts all my life. You started at 10 and you're how old right now? I mean, I'm 41. 31 years experience, wow. Yeah, it's, uh, you might be our most experienced candidate so far. Would you say that rolling blunts is a passion? Oh, absolutely, it's an art form. Actually, some people request me to roll blunts for them before I leave. Mm -hmm. Before you leave? Yeah, before I leave their house, you know, and get together or sort of. But you don't mean leave like, like you wouldn't leave the job, you know? No. Because that, that would be a problem, you know. Uh, what would you say your biggest weakness is when it comes to rolling blunts? Uh, probably leaves. Where do you see yourself uh, 10 years from now? Uh, owning my own clothing line. I do runway. I'm a dancer. I have a performance tonight. Dancing? Yeah. Could you show us a couple moves? Do you think you can roll one while dancing? Well, dancing, I could definitely do like an up rock yeah, yeah. type of thing. The clothing line, do you feel like it could uh, potentially conflict with uh, the blunt rolling? No, because I work on my own schedule. It, it wouldn't conflict with this job? No. And uh, are you high right now? Yes. Uh, would you be willing to submit a urine sample? A urine sample? Yeah, just to prove that you are actually high. Mr. Tanweer. <laughs> That's really awkward. Do, do we need to do that or? I mean, I can show you my bag right now. I got weed, blood, what? I can roll up my own shit right now. Yeah, it's not required, but it's highly recommended. So the bathroom, if you go down right here to the right, beautiful, you can just uh, leave it over here. Yeah, the other candidate is actually coming up right now. Nice to meet you. Vladimir, tell me a little bit about yourself. Um, well, I'm 25. Um, I'm not from LA originally. I'm from uh, DC. A lot of things in the media space I do. Um, like I write. As far as work, I've done like out here. I've been doing staging, so I've been like building um, stages for shows and stuff like that. Of course, I smoke my whole life. So when did you start smoking? Um, I started smoking when I was, I said like 13. 14. Yeah, he started at 10. He got me beat, bro. I ain't gonna lie. You. Yeah, I wasn't, I wasn't outside like that, bro. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so, I was inside, actually. Yeah. My mom said you better smoke inside the house rather than you outside the street. But he does have you beat on the experience. 31 years, you know? Thank you. Uh, Hey. Vladimir, right here, he's the one. How's your interviews? I'll ask you the same question. What makes you qualified to be a professional blunt roller? It's just a part of my lifestyle. Just been kind of doing it the last 10 years, so. So you only started at 23? I was like 21. What if I told you these guys started at 13 and 10? That's 10 awesome. 10. It is pretty competitive. All right, this is Roy. Right here, we have 31 years experience. You started at 13, so 18 years experience, 12 years experience. 
do you think you have more experience or more what it takes than all these other candidates? I've been smoking since I was nine. I've been head of the blunt rolling situation where, you know, the joints for all the dispensaries, the pre-rolls, backwoods, the packwoods, the whole nine. My experience comes from self. Since I was a kid, I had I was born with a full-blown sickle cell. A lot of my friends, they do it just to do it, or they do it just to, for the thing or the high. You know what I mean? I do it because I have an illness. Mr. Tanner, what do you think? Is there anyone else willing to submit the urine test before we start rolling? Right, 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 right. Um, just to prove you guys smoke. Yeah. Oh, yeah, let me knock this water down. I'm late. Does anybody have any any final thing to add why you'd be better than the other candidates? It's just the way of life. When you roll a blunt, you're putting that energy into the blunt. So if it's positive energy and the person who's smoking it, it's going to get positive energy back to them. So you always want to be in good spirit all the time while you're around the client or whomever because your energy is the vibe that's going to enlighten the blunt as well. Um, I'm just ready to start rolling. All right, Mr. Tenbeer. We're gonna be rolling with these blunts, and then here's some weed right here, some IO-13 Kush, and yeah, you guys just start grinding up and doing your thing. And you just keep the urine like, like on the floor <laughs> or something. Just for the rolling part, keep it sanitary. What uh, brand of weed is that? What strand? It's called IO-13 Kush. We're trying to get it in the shelves of Walmart. Really? Walmart? Yeah, we're trying to push it. Yeah, Walmart, that's hard. Yeah, it's it's hard to push it in there, but you know I've been I've been trying for a couple of years. It's all gonna be sold in aisle thirteen. You said aisle thirteen, so you know yeah. for sure aisle thirteen. Exactly, yeah. So you know aisle thirteen Kush is kind of marketed to look like Walmart. For the past few years, I would just go in Walmart and like smoke it in there to kind of like manifest it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Basically, like force my way in. Like this is gonna happen, whether you guys like it or not. Have you had any hits from Walmart? Any what? Hits? Like they reached out to you? I've talking to some people. It's just a matter of like legality stuff right now that I'm dealing Absolutely. with, trying to get through. It's super complicated. I actually told him already that you smoke 80 blunts a day. Up to 80, yeah. 80 blunts in a day? Yeah. I'm trying to beat Snoop Dogg's record because like if you Google how many blunts Snoop Dogg smoke, it's 81. So right off the bat, you got speed. I've been rolling so much. Like, so you, you think you could roll 80 blunts a day? Oh, yeah. Yeah? You wouldn't start getting like cramps or anything uh, like that? I probably smoke just probably about like 40 blunts a day. Like I smoke a lot. I'm a functioning smoking weed. Me too. Like, like, like two mind. ounces a day, roughly. Richard Vandermeer? Corner? Did you see the uh, email from Alex? He's gonna be uh, 15 minutes late. He's gonna be late again? I've had this guy, Alex, that's been rolling and uh, he's been showing up late every single day. Alex thinks you're a game. He thinks it's a game, bro. Yeah. Who rolled this one? Uh, me. Nice. Yeah, this one hits pretty hard. It all goes from point. days of, throughout the day, you know, in the morning, you don't want to smoke a bigger blunt. You're about to start your day at yeah. nighttime. You had a yeah. long, stressful day. Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> Around this time, you're trying to simmer down. You want that shit to be down there thing. I mean, it varies, you know what I mean? Have you guys ever been in a scenario? You're in the back seat of a car. The car is completely filled up. You're going like 80 down the highway. It's dark outside, windows down, and you're trying to roll a blunt. It's usually always like some girl like driving like a Nissan Altima, no yeah. offense. So what's your, what's your technique? in that situation. Twist fast, yeah. make sure the weed is broken down yeah. thoroughly, exactly. and you got a good leaf. So how does the IO-13 Kush smoke? Oh, yeah. it's 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 so that's, what, that's what all this is right here? Yeah. Mm -hmm. no, that's fire. I also wanted to tell you guys about this right here. Did you, have you ever seen this product before? It's called a Purple Rose Supply. I like to roll these a lot, especially when I have like a lot of people that I'm smoking with. I was gonna do it, but I think we already like smoked all the weed, so it's all good. So basically it's this thing where you pack weed inside this. Oh yeah. You've seen this before? Yeah. And it fits like, you know, you can probably squeeze like four grams in this little thing. Like and it makes it to where it burns like super Super slow. Yeah. 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 Even with like eight people, it'll go around like six rotations. <laughs> it's for like 42 minutes. Yeah. Yeah. Still the rope just be like. Yeah. Yeah. They actually have different sizes. Like this is like yeah. the smallest, like the glass one. But they have like big ass sizes. Like you can roll like almost ounce blunts in that shit. I couldn't help but notice that she was getting a little bit high off all the blunts we were passing around. So I started to get a little bit worried. Hopefully you have a driver. You good? <laughs> <laughs> it's a lovely Saturday. I'm off. Like yeah. this is this is awesome. One thing I noticed with everybody here, you know, I, you know, with the security. I just know body language. Nobody is really falling asleep. He aware, he aware, he aware. You know what I'm saying? Everybody aware. Is, is anybody else doing the urine samples? What else we got to put the bitch yeah. in? Yeah. Solo cups. Should we put our names on it? Yes, oh, yes, yes, yes. Let's yeah. do that. So should I do the thing uh, before they leave to check the color to see who's the highest? Yeah, if you can. He said who's the highest. What's yeah. the whole potent thing? He has some higher up bosses and yeah. basically they like to see, you know what I'm saying? Like for instance, we just all smoked a blunt, you know what I'm saying? But they still like to see, you know, who was really potent, who's really smoking. Like He's like the part right, right, right there. Like no, 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 no. How, how high? How high the potency is with the TAC. Yeah, remember the guy? Which yeah. one? The guy who was lying. 
Oh, the guy that said he smoked and he didn't smoke? Yeah. That's when we yeah. we started implementing this policy. <laughs> yeah, he came here and he was like, nah, bro, I'm feeling kind of sick right now. So he didn't smoke. And I was like, all right, no worries. And we did the test and he peed and his piss came clean. So I was like, how are you expecting to do this job when you don't even smoke? Do you have the tester? Should I look for it? Yeah. Okay. The toilet paper in the toilet. Who dropped that one in? Somebody dropped toilet paper in the toilet? Yeah. Like really? The whole roll. Yeah, when I went in here, I thought it was something normal, but I didn't fuck with it. But no. Because that means they're really high, but like, why did they leave? Well, like a whole fucking roll is just in the I toilet. I didn't know what to do about it. I was like... I, I said, should I grab it out? I said, hold on. I mean, I don't know why they left, because it's bonus points. Yeah, so basically we use uh, the deep cleaning face wash with the honey, but it has to be organic raw honey. Mix it together, and like the color that it turns, you'll see like one will be a different color, and that's how you know it's the most potent. This gentleman's pepper. Who's that? Yeah, that's mine. That's serious? Give it about 30 seconds. This one's not super like dark. Whose was this? Mine. So surprisingly, this one looks like the least potent. What do you mean dark? Like, like the more the rich more dark it is, it's, it's hard to more explain. Potent. It's not dark, it's like the more rich it looks. The more rich it looks. It has to look like almost like a golden texture, and that's like the most potent. This yeah. is Chris here. This is the gentleman to the right of me. This is the gentleman to the left, and this is me. And as I'm looking... I think it's this one. Chris and, but look at the gentleman. Oh, you're Chris. What about the gentleman in left? Him and Chris is the darkest ones. Chris shit is sitting in the corner. I see what you're saying as far as the, as far as the texture. Chris shit is sitting in the corner. You have the best feet, bro. Nigga Chris shit dark. You know what I'm saying? I think I ain't go front. That shit kind of like, oh no, is that Chris on the second one? Look at that. <laughs> After looking at it, look at the gentleman that left. I'm not saying that he's darker than Chris, but it no, is a little so darker. Yeah, yeah. I mean, if I'm being honest, that guy kind of had an attitude, but now seeing this and then the toilet paper, you know, maybe I was wrong about him. <laughs> so you think he's a good candidate? Yeah. This one's kind of suspicious. Suspicious like what? It's too bright. Whose one was this? Mine. That's yours? Come look at it real quick. You see how it's like mostly clear? Yeah, I mean, I don't know how this works, so I guess, yeah. Are you sure that you smoke? I mean, we just smoked, but yeah. is that like your first time smoking? Yeah. Like, did you inhale? Pass him a blunt right now. Here's the residue of my rolling tray. Let me see. I don't, you're, you're the expert. Looks like blunt roll on it for sure. Got everything we need? Yeah, I mean, we'll have to rewatch the footage. Appreciate you, man. Appreciate you, brother. Nice to meet you guys. Nice, nice to meet you, you for sir. Thank you so yeah. much. Bro. What did you cause at my house today? Like, <laughs> what is this, bro? I don't even smoke weed. <laughs> it's a 420 special, bro. Bro, every time one more of them kept, like, spawning, I was just like, what the fuck is... It was like a prank More and more and more. This <laughs> has all been a prank on Eric this whole time. Eric doesn't smoke, and he doesn't like random people in his house. <laughs> so that's exactly what I did in his house today. I mean, the first guy was actually, like, the most legit out of all yeah. of them. Yeah, that's literally probably who I would pick. Cause bro, he, did you see how fast he rolled three blunts too? He rolled three blunts before anybody rolled one. If this was real, I mean, he'd get the job. They all submitted a fucking urine test, bro. We gotta, <laughs> Wait, I need a party cup? Bro, this is disgusting. <laughs> we gotta clean this. Happy 420.